Okay, this one's going out to Thomas. Thomas asked me about music while studying, music while doing work, things like this. And look, to be honest with you, you're not going to like my answer, okay? Very controversial. Music, I don't think it's helpful, right? Let me just zoom in here. I think it's a bit too zoomed out. Nice, okay. Move this across. Music, okay? Look, I realize some people, it feels like it helps, right? In the past, I used to listen to music as well when I was studying. And you might ask, you know, what about classical, right? Classical, no lyrics, all kind of, all that kind of stuff. I think you mentioned in your comment, actually, about classical music. Uh, I think it's better than music with lyrics, but it still stimulates your brain, right? It's still kind of like stimulating a part of your brain while you're doing the activity. And you can't do two things at once, right? Your brain can't do two things at once, right? Or it can, but it will operate at less than like 25% efficiency, right? That's the thing, right? When your brain's distracted, it operates less efficiently. Either you'll, be, you'll ignore the music and focus on the, the work, or you ignore the work and focus on the music and you'll switch between and it just becomes a little bit of a mess, right? Like the real, the real reason I feel like most people listen to music is to drown out other sounds, right? Other sounds like, you know, a baby crying next door or, you know, a car crash, like whatever sound it is, right? <laughs> a bit morbid. But other sounds is what you want to drown out, right? With music, right? I just don't believe, like I used to listen to music and I, I was convinced it was great for me. I made a whole study playlist and I got like a whole bunch of followers and Spotify and everything. But I stopped doing that, right? Because it was distracting to me and I had to admit that to myself. I remember when I heard David Goggins say about, you know, how music in the gym is distracting, right? And I don't really believe that. But even that, I was like, oh, you can't take my music away from me, right? Give this a pinch of salt. Like, take this with a pinch of salt, all right? Try it out. Because if you listen to music right now, I know for a fact you'll be like, no, you're wrong. Dylan, what are you talking about? This is bullshit, right? I like my music. It helps me. And you can't say anything to convince me. Just try it out. Try it out, right? The thing is, right, there is some type of thing you can listen to that does help to drown out other sounds, right? I like to listen to the sound of rain, or I used to when I was studying years ago, the sound of rain or white noise, right? Noise. This is the sound of like pretty much nothing at all. It's background noise, the sounds that you hear in nature anyway. Like I don't know if you can hear right now, you can hear the birds tweeting outside my window. It's 4.20 but the birds are awake. And that's natural sound, right? For me, this, the only purpose of this is to drown out other noises, right? To drown out other noises. That's what I used when I used white noise or rain. Like literally you can, there's a website called rainymood.com, right? So if you're convinced by me, and if you want to try this out, try rain, rainymood.com, go there, play the sound, that's all it is. It's a website that has a sound. That's it. That's all it has on it, right? And so I believe that is the best way to go if you want to drown out sound. But to be honest with you, silence is the best way to do it, right? Let me talk to you about this. Silence. Every creative person in history, right? What do they work with? Silence. Or the sound of nature. Just what they had around them, right? They worked in silence. All these geniuses, Galileo, Leonardo da Vinci, all these people in ancient history what they had to work with was silence, right? And all the best entrepreneurs and all the most successful people today, what do they work with? Silence. Or they have like these super expensive noise cancelling earphones, but they have nothing playing on them. The entire purpose of the earphones is to block out the other, the other parts of the world, right? The least stimulation they can have in a room, that's how they do it. Like Alex Hormozzi famously has like these like, you know, blinds over his windows like a very boring room so that the only thing he wants to do is his work right so i don't disagree music is a nice thing 
But do you want to be like, do you want to have a nice thing when you work? Do you want to be entertained while you work? For me, I had to keep those things separate. Right? So silence is the best way, right? And if you can't get that silence, listen to the sound of rain. Listen to a nature sound, a white noise generator, or whatever it is you can have access to. That, for me, is the best way to go about it, right? So silence, the sound of rain. For me, silence, right? The reason I get up so early, I think you can see, I don't know if you can see the time here, but it's 4.22 right now. Why do I get up this early? Because the silence. No one's awake in the house. I can just be at peace. Right? The neighbors haven't woken up yet. My family haven't woken up yet. The dog hasn't woken up yet. I can record these videos in peace and be fine. Right? And that's why I wake up this early. So let's zoom out here and see what I've written down. I think I've talked about everything I want to talk about. Yeah. Controversial opinion. Music. I don't think it's the best for studying. I'm sorry to, to burst your bubble there. Other sounds you want to listen to if you want to like, you know, change it up, rain and white noise. Okay, give it a go. Don't just tell yourself, oh, Dylan, what are you, what are you talking about? This is all bullshit. To give us a go. For a week, listen to the sound of rain. Rain really helped me out, right, when studying. Because, yes, it is distracting to have other noises, right? People like slurping their coffee. Or like, you know, I don't know, tapping on their keyboard or what else is distracting as a noise. I don't know, like someone falling over. I don't know, like anything distracting like that. It just comes along. Like if you want to work in a coffee shop for some reason, I don't know why you would, but you can ha have that. Listen to the sound of rain, right? Like maybe for traveling, you don't have the option. So listen to rain. And the best, best thing to do is to work in silence. If you can manage that, right? So if you have the resources, soundproof your room, right? If you have the resources, you can, you know, Build a separate office, like outside your house or something, I don't know. Like, and like the ultimate hack for anybody, regardless of how much money you have, wake up earlier. Silence, right? And the silence I have right now is like dotted with little birds chirping in the background. And that for me is not too distracting. It's just a background noise that I can ignore, right? That's the whole thing. I could ignore the sound of rain. I could ignore the sound of birds. But I can't ignore music. Music entertains me. That's the point I'm trying to make here. I don't want to drill this home too hard, but I want to separate my entertainment and my work. Right? That, for me, are two different things. Right? So I hope that helps. I hope that point, that very last point, is the most important point I want you to kind of cling on to. The entertainment versus work thing, right? So you've got to separate that. Play versus work. That's the final thing I want to say. With that being said, I hope that helps out. Thomas, was it, who asked this question? I hope it helps. Yeah, take care. Peace. Nice.